From a young age, many are faced with the fear of mortality. For senior citizens, this fear is becoming increasingly prevalent. However, with the recent rise in technology, their fears could be lessened. Hi, my name is Celine Siltas, and due to this problem, I'll be exploring the question of how can the usage of Internet of Things devices made by other nations decrease the mortality rate of Americans above the age of 60. My solution is to implement different nations IoT devices, which would allow for cognitive and physical benefits through increased usage of their brains and accident prevention. Currently, many IoT devices have been developed in other nations, so in implementing them, these benefits would be increased. In order to effectively implement my solution, mortality rate must be understood. Mortality rate is defined as the number of deaths per certain area or population. As seen on the graph, accidents are the third leading cause of mortality in the US, only following heart disease and tumors, accounting for approximately 5.9% of deaths. Using IoT devices from other nations can provide lasting cognitive benefits towards elderly Americans. A recent invention made by Taipei University, located in Taiwan, monitors and tracks movements and activities that could, that could prevent, potentially prevent household accidents. The device would track how a patient moves across the room, noting if they collide with any objects. These objects would be remembered as key items within the device's memory. Through this, elderly Americans would be more reliant on the device's memory rather than their own allowing for more focus on their surroundings and decreased stress levels. With this, it would cause for less accidents as seen on the picture on the right. IoT devices can also provide many physical benefits. A new study conducted in Spain displayed that their accident prevention device was over 94% effective. In recent times, the number of elderly citizens has been increasing, with their population being projected to reach over a 120% increase by 2050. This is increasing, this increasingly elderly population, paired with the rise in deaths from falls, as shown in the graphs, reveals how important these Spanish devices are. With these devices, the preventable deaths of over 30,000 senior Americans, as seen on the graph on the right, could have been saved. With the implementation of these devices, problems and limitations may arise. For example, the cognitive benefits, as explained before, may be questioned on their reliability. The physical benefits have a 6% failure rate, which may further Americans' fear of mortality. Despite this, the devices provide countless benefits, such as overwhelmingly positive evidence from academic journals, which outweigh any limitations. To conclude, implementing the use of foreign IoT devices would provide countless cognitive and physical benefits. This includes, but is not limited to, accident prevention and increased use of their brain. Through decreasing mortality rates, the country as a whole would flourish, as low mortality rate is often associated with a more developed country. Lower mortality rates increase the life expectancy, also increasing the workforce and allowing economic growth. In this way, the use of foreign IoT devices not only benefits the citizens of America, but the country as a whole. Thank you. All right, I do have a couple questions for you. Um, I stopped sharing my screen, is that okay? That's fine, that's fine. Okay. Um, okay, so first question. What information did you need before you began your research and how did that information shape your research? Well, I did research a lot about mortality and life expectancy and made sure that I chose the right terminology in order to phrase my question and my research correctly. Okay. And what advice would you have for other people that consider this in the future? Make sure to use the correct terminology when um, researching your questions and when researching your evidence, because some of the research that was provided was more geared toward life expectancy rather than mortality, which could have shifted how the presentation was made. All right, sounds good. Hold on a second, let me stop recording.